first thing I did is I went ahead and opened this up and measured it out the length. And I took my razor knife and I cut it. And then what I do next is I have some of this brown flooring paper here. And when I go ahead and put this up, I tear some of the paper, fold it in half. Uh-oh, you can't see me now. So I take the uh, paper and I wrap it around the edge of the plastic. That makes it easier to take out later. And uh, helps help strengthen the hold of the plastic up there. Then you're just going to go ahead with your stapler and shoot right through your paper so that when you take your plastic down you can actually grab the paper and it pulls the staple out with it. If you don't use the paper you pull the plastic down and the staple stays in the drywall usually. Okay. Moving right along. It's like brown paper bag material. Usually I use a uh, drywall tape, the paper tape. But I don't have that out right now. And this was this was handy. So you're just gonna fold it around your plastic. Like that, pull, hold it around the plastic, hold it up there tight. Nice, nice and tight. And then try not to staple your thumb. Oops. Dang, two bad shots. They were half on and half off, which isn't good. Okay. So the reason why I measured the roll of plastic across here is because it, although it's about 36 inches tall, it's folded multiple layers, which comes out to about, this is probably about a, uh, 10 feet, probably near 10 feet. So we just have the HVAC old ducts torn out. And since I don't have the drywall lit up yet, and we want to run the air, I'm just going to seal it off here. Oops. Actually, I'm done right there. I went a little further than I needed to. So now, we're going to pull this across here um, like so we're going to put some more paper on it here make it tight Get that in there good. Oh shoot, we pulled out. We've got pull out. That's not good. Okay, had a little error here. I knew that wasn't gonna be good. So what is good though, is that, oops. Usually that comes out with the staples. Oh, what a foul up. Time out. I don't have my tools on that I need. Okay. Well, actually. Uh, okay. Uh, we've grabbed a couple tools here. Some side cutters and some pliers. To get those staples out. Okay, regroup, get back to where we need to be, 
I have them put this black belt on here for longer than I can remember, but I guess I could use this side pouch here for that and that. Nice. Okay. Back to uh, getting this side up. But come on, baby. That's not giving me a problem here. Uh, okay. It's easier when you're not trying to film it for some reason. Uh, yikes. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. Now, to be okay over here, tear a piece of paper. cut it off right here. to do is to seal that side over there and then cut out the uh, metal vent there that's the intake for the uh, HVAC so let's go ahead and try to finish this up how are we going to do this? Where should we put this? Uh, How's that? I can't see. Well, I'm going to lay it down. Oh boy. Okay, hopefully it'll stay there and not fall. I'll put my pliers in front of it. Okay, so. Uh oh, am I running out of paper? I ran out of paper. Hold on. I got some paper. Okay. Okay. Okay, we've got paper. So, I'm not going to finish the whole thing, but I just want to show you what's going to go on here. And that is that we are going to start tacking up around this edge here. 
folding the paper over and then getting some tacks some staples in there I like to double the paper I fold it in half so when I pull it out with a staple later it comes out nice and easy but it won't be easy because I'm putting two staples in because I really don't want it to fall down so okay moving right along problem here is they don't want to go into the uh, wood as easy as they go into the drywall. So I'm just trying to hurry up and get this so you can see what's going on. Damn, they kicked the gun back down. to show you now is that I will cut this vent out and I believe I'm going to cut it a little long my razor knife's kind of dull very dull okay let's leave that like that ouch uh. okay so that's how you would uh temporarily get your uh, plastic up I'm going to go ahead and put a couple more staples in here because I was just, just hanging it up there. A couple more staples or I'll put some tape up there one way or the other. Probably just blue tape, the other piece of plastic, cut the plastic out there after I tack it up and get the drywall up in the next couple days. That's just so when we turn it on it doesn't suck the dust from the top and down in and blow it through the house through those vents. That bottom one I have to patch. Top one's okay. Gotta change out the ceiling fan because that plastic leaks. It's all broke, broken kinda and so old it's seeping water. Uh, that I have to patch. That's where the old vent was but it didn't work with the new system. They actually never had that bottom vent hooked up. The guys who ever installed this originally okay 